What's up guys and welcome back for another Alpha Fit video. We're going to be going over the Kestrel, a uh, Kaldari frigate, and we'll kind of run this uh, this mission while we uh, kind of talk about the fit itself. So let's go and go through here. Start with the rigs. I'm going to be using a small bay loading accelerator and then a uh, small warhead, uh, Jesus, small warhead uh, catalyst here. And then I'm using the uh, compact light missile launcher with Scourge Light missiles. So we get about 44k range with this. And then we're going to be using a small uh, C5 Tac L compact shield booster with just an EM shield amp 1 to kind of fill the gap a little bit. And then a 1mm uh, micro propellant afterburner with a uh, PB acid uh, cab battery. The lows will be just cross link compact ballistics uh, control systems. And uh, we're just carrying some extra ammo. Pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into to this and kind of show you how it all works. Trick with any uh, frigate, we want to just kind of keep moving for the most part. We're gonna try to stay at range quite a bit to uh, take stuff down. But as you see, we've just got a bunch of uh, of uh, frigates in this pocket here. So I'm just gonna kind of go out in this direction. We're gonna kind of just grab. I'm gonna go single. I'm just gonna group everything on this, but I, I don't think we'll need to. We could probably actually split guns on this. Yeah. So after this guy goes down, I'm gonna split guns just to speed this pocket up. I usually try to go group and then uh, see how it goes. Don't really need the afterburner too much, so let's go ahead and split guns put one on each that way while we're fighting we can kind of just work on direction we're gonna start making our way over there to that side those guys are still out of range so and just kind of uh assigning targets here speed up a little bit shield boost we're going to try to shield boost everything up while we uh, kind of make our way to this other side. Actually, I think I am going to keep stuff grouped. I think it, it's a lot neater for the most part. Go and get this guy down. Got to retarget that, bro. Just kind of grab everybody that's kind of in range here. This is a very uh, cheap kind of uh, option for just kind of the ratting. You know, about 8 million in Jita. We can go swing past these guys. Once we kind of get closer to them, we'll start making our way back to uh, the acceleration gate. All right, that guy's down. All right, we can cut the booster since we're all nice and capped off for our shield and I'll put the uh, fit in the description like normal so you can import it and sim it easily from that this is being ran on a uh, max skilled alpha so your mileage may vary when it comes to shield boosting amount range damage stuff like that go and head back towards the acceleration gate here All right. Now, as we kind of make our way back over, we'll uh, get a reload. Go get that afterburner on. Do one cycle on the shield booster just to cap us off a little bit. Do a reload. Go and select this gate and hit activate. This will kind of be in range <clears throat> here pretty quick while we uh, hit rocks. Come on. Don't be silly. Gotta babysit these ships sometimes around these rocks. It's probably one of my biggest annoyances with uh, just mission running is just kind of like the travel and logistics and all of that. 
All right, we're good to go. We're reloaded. We're boosted. Our shield's good to go. Go and get in this next pocket here. Let's see how we do. There are some days where I just don't feel like running like a battle cruiser or a cruiser or anything like that. And, you know, frigates are always fun to run. Just because if you're definitely used to uh, bigger ships, it can just be nice to kind of run something like this for a while. Go and light this dude up. I'm going to just kind of go across him for the most part. Just to kind of uh, keep moving. He hasn't really engaged me, so... Not really a big issue. I just need to keep him within range and we'll be good to go. Oh, he hit me. He hit me once. And that is the mission. But yeah, I do highly recommend this ship. It's pretty low um, skill, so it's a good entry point you know, for doing like level 2s and stuff like that. It might be a little dicey when you get into like level 3s just because of the amount of stuff that is on field. And it can be kind of um, difficult to to manage some of the bigger groups of rats. But for level 2s, this thing is, is good to go. It's just you want to kind of manage your cap a little bit. You don't need to run the afterburner too much. If you're taking a lot of damage... Um, and you don't really want to run the booster too much. You can run the uh, afterburner and just kind of, you know, keep moving and and kind of it helps that way. But the shield booster cycles pretty fast. You're going to get about 30 HP every two seconds. So you kind of have to just play the whole like uh, uh, track tanking or a sig tanking kind of game and then um, kind of fill in the gaps with the, with the uh, shield booster here. But I appreciate you guys for watching. And like I said, if you want to get this and sim this, you can just copy the fit out of the description and then open your fit window, go down here, go to import from clipboard. And then from there you can save it or you can sim it or you can fit it or you can do all the, the normal kind of stuff. But thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.